Yo, what's going on, everybody? This is Mystical. Welcome to Monk Monday number 112. Thank you so much for anyone who submits their gameplay. For those who don't know what this is, you send any gameplay you have to this email right here. Any MMR, any CR, anything. I got Mistweaver, Windwalker, PvP, 2s, 3s, RGs, PvE, Mythic Plus, um, Raids, anything. Anything like that, please send it in. I think one of the best ways to improve at the game is to have somebody else look at your gameplay. Trust me, I've been doing it for a little while now, so I kind of, you know, I've gotten a lot of critiques when I first started and still do, and I learn pretty much every time I watch videos. So please send new gameplay. Today we have Fragmore, and we have an hour, 21 minute long VOD. I will, hey, I got nothing to do. So we'll probably go through all of it. It looks like we're playing Mistweaver. Well, we're one walker right now, but all right, let me see if we can find a game. Uh, let's see. Is this a game? Yeah, okay. We are playing Mistweaver, I was going to say. Uh, we're playing Mistweaver. It looks like Demo Warlock. So this is my bread and butter comp for twos right now. This is how I got what, top 50 on the ladder. It's not easy, especially versus Fury Warriors but and Outlaw Rogues, but it is possible to do. Biggest recommendation versus Fury Warriors. I play Disarm, Eminence, and I actually played Thunderous Focus T <laughs> versus Fury Warriors because eventually they kind of do run out of mobility. It looks like we are playing human as well so we're playing rally so we'll kind of see how this goes that's a leap usually what you try to do is rob the warrior to stop them from stopping the gate but he already he missed the fear or he was too slow so you're you're good um and we're basically building our, our cc chain around tyrant it looks like our warlock just used unending resolve at 100 percent health with soul rot so that's already looking a little scary just because i don't think the warrior is really doing much uh that is our tyrant too so we kind of want to use rop do we have rop i don't know if we have rop or not i can't tell but usually want to rob them so they can't line and uh we're doing a pretty good job though pally actually eating it if he gets kicked no okay he's not gonna get kicked it's fine but maybe we want to go for an in-cap sweep on the pally while we're doing tyrant damage just because pallies have the turn evil and it's really annoying Life Cocoon on the Warlock. We also have Yulon too. So just keep that in mind. All right, we have our Nourishing Chi is down. So we're going to be doing a little bit. looks like we are playing Refreshing Breeze too. Or um, the other mana reduction, which is nice. Uh, good drink here. This is a really good drink. Fury Warriors will normally just wind up just killing your Warlock eventually. Uh, but we're doing a really good job of keeping our team alive, keeping ourselves alive. So we use our Fort Brew there. Uh, we're doing a pretty decent job of kiting. I might want to use a disarm or a sweep if you ever, like, if you run out of mobility. That's when you start to, like, sweep or disarm uh, the warrior. But, no, nah, great job with your mobility there. Coil on the warrior. So, you probably want to go for an in-cap on the healer. Uh, I don't think we've used in-cap once. So, we kind of want to get that cross to see. That's fear before tyrant. So, that's huge, by the way. Th that's really big. Um, fear before tyrant. And Tyrant's going to be able to just free cast. So, uh, oh, there's Ring of Peace. I found it. All right. So, if you use Ring of Peace um, so they can't go behind the pillar. And then we have a big Tyrant. So, here's Tyrant. So, you want to do is Rop. Oh, never mind. He didn't use Fear. Oh, that's the cooldown of Fear. Okay. No, he had Fear. All right. I see. Now, we Trinket, roll away. Uh, Where's our... Okay. Wait. Oh, we, we were out of range of our port, weren't we? Also, make sure you put Renewing Mist on yourself. Let me see something real quick. Yeah, we're out of range of our port. I see a spamming port, and we're out of range of it, which is really unfortunate because then we have to trinket. I don't know if you had to trinket this. Like, look how much is You have a uh, second and a half left on trinket. You, I mean, on stun. Probably didn't have to trinket this. There, you, sh you, you would have been fine, I think. Um, and then we pour it away. Just slightly awkward. I think it's okay. Now the Warriors leaps to you, charging you. Nice drop. Don't think he has Blade Storm. So he's stuck in there. Perfect job. Well done. And we have Gate if we need to. Because he just used Leap to get to you. So maybe. Nice stun. Go for it. Incap on the Pally here. Incap. Nice. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, I think it breaks. Nice leg sweep off, though. Really, really good. Yep. Do damage here. Even go for a disarm so we can't fr um, friends regen or use his impending victory. Blade Storm. Don't want to stack for that. This might be too loud. There we go. Um, yeah, so far, like, we're doing a really good job. Oh, that's the first on the Pally's Cash Repentance all game. 
Okay, that's unending resolve though for me, Warlock, which is fine. Nice disarm of the Warrior as well. A Mystic Touch is actually really important when you play with the Demo Warlock, just because the pets do melee damage. It's physical damage. So it is a 5% damage buff to the pets, which is really, really good. Uh, that's Fleshcraft from the Warrior, so he's kind of just going to be a little bit tankier. But I think overall doing a really good job. We'll get a bonus reproc there. We should be able to heal, um, heal through this damage uh, with the bonus reproc, which is really nice. Perfect. Um, and then what we'll, we have Tyrant. We have... Well, Rop was there. Maybe we don't have Rop. We also have Yulon. So, okay, there is Rop. Um, so we have Rop. We have Tyrant. So th there's no way he'd be able to kite away. Freedom from the Pally there. We need to live this go. But I don't... Good kiting from the Warlock. Dead. It really is unfortunate. Because the reason why we didn't have Trinket is because we were out of range of report. And it's just mistakes like that, unfortunately, for Miss Weaver. We're just really fragile. And one mistake like that costs us the trinket. Uh, could cost us the game, which really sucks. Overall, though, this game was good. You did a really good job kiting, really good job healing. Um, it just came down to trinketing that Hodge, which I don't think you had to trinket. But you also had a range of Hodge. so Or out of, out of range of your port, which is really unfortunate. But overall, no, this game was really good. Um, Fury Warriors eat Demo Warlock, or Warlocks in general live, so... Great job. Next up, we have a really fun matchup. <laughs> Mistweaver, Fury Warrior. Um, essentially the same thing. What you want to do is you want to... Whenever your Warlock is going for a Felguard stun with Tyrant on the DPS, you can go for an in-cap sweep on the healer. So, it's... Uh, <clears throat> just watch for... Usually what I do with these cooldowns is they glow. I make them glow when they're active. I don't know if you have that. Maybe you do. Um, that way I actually know. That's a disarm... Not a very good disarm here because when when you disarm, <clears throat> what you want to do, especially versus Fury Warriors, what you want to do is you want to disarm the warrior when you your teammate or yourself have like four or eight Slaughterhouse stacks. And Slaughterhouse stacks are like this red icon. You'll see it on your Warlock. Um, I don't see it on yourself yet. Maybe if we target the Warlock real quick. I don't know if we're, target, we're not targeting the Warlock. Um, you want to disarm because the debuff only lasts six seconds. So if you disarm the warrior, the debuff is going to go away at the end of the disarm. So try not to pre, try not to use disarm too early. Um, if I see a slaughterhouse stack coming out on your warlock, I will let you know. That's a coil here. It looks like uh, the warrior reflected the coil. We'll go for an incap here. Oh, nice. We do have an ending resolve. We do have the glow, which is really nice. And we get swept off. It's still fine on ending resolve. Uh, nice incap here too. This is our tyrant. And then go for a ROP into maybe a sweep. No sweep. Okay. Um, life Cocoon from us, which is good. Life Cycles is a talent I was thinking of, too. And I like how Cloud of Focus choice, too. That's Reflect from the Warrior. You could you could uh, Crackling Jade Lightning it off just to help. Just in case your Warlock wants to fear or something. That's also Zerka Rage. That's actually big. That's Zerka Rage and Reflect. So your Warlock should be able to get fears if he doesn't get kicked. Um, <clears throat> we're Right now, good kiting. We're kind of... Stack, though you don't kind of want to do that just because the warrior can maybe get a double fear on you guys but <clears throat> uh, we shall see good fear here um i don't know if we got kicked on that or not i don't see a fear dr uh bonus proof proc we should be able to just heal through it which is nice yeah just heal through it really good job with renewing, renewing mist here we got fleshcraft active which means we have the mastery buff which is nice um it's hard to get damage out when you're playing with a with Warlock against Fury Warrior. That's just, it is a tough matchup. Monk's, Monk is pushing in for an in-cap sweep. You could use Rop to maybe like slow him down or make it so he can't get the sweep on you. <clears throat> or at least buy you time. Um, don't be afraid to use your Rop to help your Warlock, by the way. Okay, good. This is Soul Rot. Uh, or this is damage. So, I don't think it is Soul Rot. So, it looks like we might be doing damage. Might go for an in-cap on the Mistweaver. Mistweaver's just on the other side of the map. He doesn't have to heal his teammate. <laughs> The warrior just does as much healing as like healers. Uh, you get wrapped away. Kind of unfortunate. Might get incapped off of this, which we do into a sweep. Oh, we trinket life cocoon. All right, that's uh, that's fine. You know what? You got the life cocoon off, which is all that matters. Um, good healing here. We have Rob still. So use Rob to knock the warrior off the edge or knock the warrior off of your warlock. Um, really good stun here. So you got to go for incap here on the healer. Maybe an incap sweep. We, you don't need. I don't think you need mana because Tyrant's coming out soon. I would go for an in-cap sweep on the healer right now. Yes, yes, nice, 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 nice. It's a slightly because the warrior isn't. Oh, there's a stun. Sweep the Mistweaver. Nice, good. 
All right, that's the fear on the tyrant. All right, that's also your warlock wall. Um, we might be in trouble. Hopefully, your warlock is close to there. Nice, good kiting from the warlock. Uh, we still have Rop. Mm. Oh no, we don't have Rop. Um, it, Fury Warriors are just tough. Um, <clears throat> I'm trying to think what do we do versus Fury Warriors? We normally just focus on kiting and making them use the mobility, and then once they use all their mobility, then you Rop and like sweep them and all that stuff because then they can't get away. From Tyrant. Um, yeah, no, it's just tough for Warlocks, especially if they're not like insane at kiting, which your Warlock is pretty good at it, but too it's too late. Like when you're in a fear, your Warlock needs to already be kiting or something like that. Like they need to be kiting, they need to be porting away. I think we outranged our gate too, and we, we were outranging our port. So I think we just outranged a lot of our defensive cooldowns, and then we didn't really get a lot of pressure. Because we didn't have cross to see on the healer when the warrior was stunned. So maybe when you see the stun and tyrant, I would make it so the tyrant glows because it does it for unending resolve, but not tyrant. When you see tyrant glowing, go for an in cap sweep on the healer. And that way you get some kind of cross to see. Hopefully, get a cooldown and then you can just go from there. Oh, wow, you're getting all the fun matchups today. You're getting these are a lot of uh, hard counters. Mark's Hunter, Resto Druid. Uh, biggest thing versus Mark's Hunters is disarm. Oh, and then also for the versus Fury Warriors, you, you need to use Disarm when you see that your uh, teammate has like eight stacks of Slaughterhouse. Very, very important. You can't heal through the damage if they do. <coughs> so they're probably going to get this first trap. They normally always do, unless you can spin a crane kick them out. Uh, so your Warlock needs to kite. Uh, that's the I would go for a Fleshcraft. Nice. Okay, that's True Shot. That's a instantly Disarm. It, it, as su okay, we Trinket. Instantly Disarm the Mark's Hunter. Please. Uh, that's like the only way you're gonna be able to live through. That's also our legs. That's also our life cocoon. Um, okay, uh, we get trapped here. Soul rot, tyrant. I would use rop on the pillar here, so if they can't kite the tyrant, it'd be so good if you ropped it. <clears throat> I think they got around the pillar too too early, which is okay. Um, but yeah, well, the biggest thing is to use disarm on the true shot or from the hunter, and then go for an in cap sweep on the healer. Uh, also, when you disarm the hunter, they can't they can't kick, which is really nice. So it's like a two for one. You disarm the hunter on his damage, so he can't do damage, and then they also can't kick your the tyrant or any damage that your warlock has, or you if you need to heal. So I would be very careful about yeah. I would be very very careful, especially since you don't have trinket to push in on this team, just because they have traps. They also have uh, triple clone, and they have bash. So just be careful. Do not push in. That's see. That's a full clone. Just be careful because warlocks they kind of get owned by Mark's Hunter. Let me see. Nice disarm. See, that's a really good disarm. A little bit. I don't know how long on True Shot. I think True Shot's up in about a minute and a half. Yeah, we should have it. Oh wait, no. True Shot's up in like thirty. This might be rough. Maybe you'll have it back. I don't know. Uh, we also use Life Cocoon. Uh. That's going to be rough, too, to heal through True Shot. Unless, and we also don't have Unending Resolve. So, right now, we have nothing. So, we need to play very defensive. You need to play far away, away from this Hunter, and try to make it very difficult for him to CC you. Because next go, we don't. no one has Trinkets, and they have a Trap, and that's an Aim Shot. No True Shot, though, which is really good. So, maybe we can buy time. How long on our Trinket? Where's our Trinket? It's somewhere. All right, however, however long on Trinket is when True Shot Aura is. <laughs> so keep that in mind. Oh, they're swapping you. Healing Elixir, perfect. Nice. Good job staying alive there. That's really good. This is True Shot, though. We're scared. This is... All right, good. Good kiting. Really good. Uh, the Druid does not care. Uh, any, unending Resolve from your Warlock. I think they're trying to kill the pet. They're trying to kill the pet. Uh oh oh. Mech Attack. Mech Attack. True Shot Aura... True Shot Aura is up for about five more seconds, and we don't have Unending Resolve. Uh, if we have Disarm, now is a good time to do it. Oh, nice hots. Good job with renewing Mist and Essence Font. Uh, if we have Rob, you can wrap the Trank. Oh. Okay, that's all right. We probably need to live. That's okay. I, I believe in us. But yeah, no, overall, that's Life Cocoon. Probably. So here's the thing. Here's the thing right here. Probably didn't have to Life Cocoon here because here's something you could do. You could Disarm the Hunter. That way they can't kick. Actually, didn't you just get kicked? You just got kicked. So they have no way to interrupt you here. So just free cast. Hunter's not using his double. He's got no. Let me see. I don't see double tap anywhere. I don't see rapid fire. I mean, I think you're good to just free cast here, but um, it is a little scary when your teammate is low and like 
we probably have trinket too. You keep swapping bars. I'm trying to keep up, but that's that's hard on my brain. <laughs> it's very hard for my brain to process the two the two action bars to swap between. Oh my god. Okay. Let's see, we're going for envelope mist, which is good. But our I like this. Might want to do a new gate too. Uh, if we're gonna put our port back here. Druid's probably gonna enter somewhere. Nice stun here by your warlock. We're trying to do damage. Good job, line. Your warlock could line too. That's bash on you. Maybe it's a trap. We'll see. No trap. Okay, we'll take that. We'll take that. No trap. Um, Iron Bark on the hunter. Fort Brew on you. Overall, really good job. Renewing Mist is going to drop on your teammates, so keep that in mind. Um, make sure you keep Mecha Thack alive. It looks like we're trying to. We could. You could kill the hunter pet if you wanted to, uh, but right now we're trying to stay alive. Uh, but overall, we're doing. Uh, oh wait, there. I don't think there is a hunter. Oh no, there is a hunter pet. Oh okay. Um, I'm trying to see what we could do right now. So I don't know if we have trinket. I don't know if I'm blind or if I can't, I can't see it. I really can't. Um, I'm assuming we do and we should have disarm soon. So just keep in mind, we have disarm for the hunter to stop damage. We have in cap for the druid or even the hunter. If you know, to stop aim shots, great fear LOS of the druid go for an in cap here. It breaks. It happens all the time. The imps are really annoying. They're not really that smart. Um, so we have ways to deal with damage. And then make sure you have your port closed. If you're playing Eminence, you could port any stuns on you. Uh, that set up a trap. So keep that in mind. But we're doing pretty good. We've survived. We life cocoon there. Pro probably didn't have to life cocoon here. Yeah, no, definitely didn't have to. Your your, hunt, your warlock is LOS the hunter. Uh, probably didn't have to use life cocoon. Uh, we do have Yulon though. Don't, don't, you know, underutilize her. She is pretty decent. So keep that in mind. Here's the slow or the root. We go right through it. This is true shot. So what we're looking for is an instant disarm on the hunter. And if the tr if the hunter trinkets the disarm, you can just leg sweep or in cap. That's a stun by a warlock. Coil on the druid into a fear. Perfect. Looking for anything else. Look for an in cap. Nice leg sweep off. Beautiful. Beautiful CC chain here. And there's a trap on you. Unending resolve from your warlock. Uh, it is true shot. So we're a little scared. Always lining you. Oh, nice. There's Yulon. Perfect. Oh, no. Please don't line. Oh, my God. My heart breaks for you. This. So, a few. Th one thing to note is um, don't be don't be so quick to press life cocoon. You know, don't. Miss Weaver has a lot, a lot, a lot of healing output. So, you don't just press it when if you, you, you don't have to. So, this life, this last life cocoon over here. Where, where is it? It was like here, right? Um, I forget when it was, but is it back here? Yeah, this one right here. Your team is completely LOS. You do, the hunter cannot kick you. you they cannot CC you. So you probably didn't have to press this life cocoon. Um, but what, the, what caused the game is uh, this right here. The uh, positioning right here at the end was brutal. But if you had life cocoon, you could have kept them alive, which is really unfortunate. You know, like it's it's just uh it just sucks. Um, <clears throat> and then if we had disarm, we have disarm actually. Oh, that's big. Yeah, if you had disarm, we you could, probably could have kept them alive. If you go for a disarm on the hunter, it has no it has like zero travel time because he's close to you, and then go for like more healing because he can't kick you when you're disarmed. Um, you could have probably got healing done, but the warlock just uh, honestly the positioning from this warlock is brutal. Like I don't know if he understands you need to heal in a straight line, a straight line. But yeah, no, that was rough. Uh, overall though, healing output wise, it was fine. Just trade your cooldowns when you see cooldowns being used. You know, you see true shot, just know what you're gonna trade. If you see true shot, disarm instantly. Every time you see true shot, go for a disarm. When you see a stun on you with a trap, use your port while you're stunned, uh, which is eminence to avoid the trap. And it'll make the matchup go a lot easier. It's not an easy matchup, but it could be easier. I right, got another Fury Warrior. I actually feel feel really bad for you. These Qs are very unfortunate. They are very, very unfortunate. Uh, same thing as usual. Um, put your port in the room or kind of close by. Uh, we're kind of pushing without a port, which is a little weird to do just be careful especially in threes if you start doing threes just start with the port in your room and then kind of ease out there uh but the fear warrior is probably just gonna go your warlock right so good um trying to use our rop to use your rop to help with like avoid damage and then use disarm when you see a warlock has a few slaughterhouse stacks i think that might be an issue uh, i don't really make comments about uis but i don't know who you're targeting 
at certain times, but you want to track Slaughterhouse stacks versus Fury Warriors like all the time. Um, I don't know if there's a way, like a place for you to see it right now, but Slaughterhouse stacks are really important to track. It helps with knowing when to disarm like that disarm. Maybe it was good actually. You probably got a one or two stacks, but or four up to four stacks. Uh, but this is tyrant. You want to use your ROP to use your ROP right now. Use your ROP to make sure the warrior can't go behind the pillar. Okay, that's all right. That's all right. Uh, this pillar in the middle was really really rough for Demo Warlocks. I we, we struggled on this map all the time. It was really really hard for us to get kills on it. Nice in cap on the mind games there into her fear. Really good. Um, we're just trying to heal right now. But that's there's definitely slaughterhouse stacks because healing is struggling. Uh, life cocoon is good bonus for as well uh it's just a lot of damage hopefully we can get a oh my god oh my oh my god <laughs> that's a great weak aura um we port but it's not good enough because the warlock the warrior is just a tank we might just die yeah so the biggest problem i see versus fury warriors is that you're just dis i think you're disarming at like too early um like do don't use disarm on the warrior when they just connect it's not going to do anything they're actually probably gonna they probably like that which is they're, they're kind of weird if they like that you want to use it on their burst cooldowns um especially with the slaughterhouse slaughterhouse stacks you disarm it if they trink it you can go for a leg sweep you can go for fear so just keep that in mind uh but yeah no, it, fury warriors just are a rough matchup i mean you look at the damage breakdown the priest almost out to out damage your warlock it's just it's it's a rough one maybe even play thunder's focus t to help out with the mobility that's what I tend to play. All right, we got Demon Hunter, Holy Pally. So, kill target is Demon Hunter. I would say you can swap to the Holy Pally, but I would say kill target is Demon Hunter. And again, just focus on surviving. You know, uh, Destro Demos are really tanky. They can live. These guys are also undergeared by a lot. Like, a hell of a lot, I think. Or maybe not. I thought they would be. I haven't seen that low health. Um, Hot Gen U, it seems like a blinding light, so you kind of want to pour it. That's okay. We, we use Unending Resolve, so it should be okay. Oh, and Trinket. Okay. Uh, this is big meta. He's got meta for 40 seconds. 40 seconds. All right. That's great. This is going to be a lot of fun. There's Blur from the Demon Hunter. This is Tyrant. Uh, and Wings from the Pally. Great in-cap here into a sweep would be fantastic. Bop on it, so there's nothing you could do. There's nothing you could do. The only thing you could do is if your Warlock went for Fears on the Pally, but I don't think he can. He's a little bit busy right now, getting trained down by Illidan himself. So... Just heal through the damage. Don't be afraid. I mean, you know, there isn't much CC in this matchup. So if you do need to feel like you need to press Life Cocoon, you can. That's also Pally Wall right there. Okay, after Wings, I feel like Pally could actually die. No joke. I I, I think he could die. Um, Maybe next Tyrant. I see we have Tyrant in like 45 seconds. Uh, Demon Hunter's just on your Warlock. I'm try I'm just trying to see a good stun here on the Pally. Yeah, I'm liking this. If you can get a Fear on the, pal on the Demon Hunter... And then go for a kill on the on the pally, but especially since he already bopped himself too and used wall. I don't know. I think maybe there's blur from Demon Hunter too. I don't think he's gonna have blur for this next uh, tyrant. Uh, so get, try to get a dispel on that stun. I would hold your CC. Nice fleshcraft, beautiful fleshcraft here. Really, really good. I would hold your CC. Nice drop. Hold it until next tyrant in about what 10 seconds, 15 seconds, um, and then you're gonna be looking fine. I think. Make sure you you. Uh, Heal the pet. We trinket in cap into a leg sweep. Okay. Let me see. Uh, so not ideal, I would say. One, the biggest reason is because your warlock does not have damage right now. Your warlock has no damage right now. His damage is built into tyrant. If it was if it was during tyrant and the demon hunter was low, then yeah, I would pro maybe trinket in cap. But yeah, this trinket in cap doesn't really do much because there is a lot of damage going out same with chasing him down for and it breaks instantly and then chasing him down for sweep only puts us out of position because we don't have damage uh we don't have tyrant out yet that's also a flesh craft so i think we wasted our trinket there way that might have been a waste of a trinket and i hope it doesn't bite us bite us in the end because the pally is playing blinding light so hodge blinding light maybe in cap on you too oh maybe big damage here so like right now right let me see right here's tyrant right he, like around here you see him go get chunked down like right around here go for an in-cap sweep that's that's when you go for an in-cap sweep and you crowd control the enemy healer that way they fall behind because right now we have no cc now because we already used it 
uh, and uh, not on our go. Uh, that's our st unless we can get a fear on the pally. I think your warlock needs to fear like a little bit more too. Out of the darkness, give me a Todd. Give me a Todd on that. It's bubble and blur. So we just got a lot of cooldowns there. Blur is gonna be falling down right here in a second. We got an in cap? No, no sweep either. I'm, I assume. All right, we're still doing damage to Demon Hunter, which is good. And oh, he's trying to swap to you now. Oh, I might want to get out of that res. Oh, are we stunned? Oh, okay, he res res you, but you pre wallet, which is perfect. Great port here. Um, good healing. We get kicked, which is okay, because I think we should be able to just stay alive. Because he already stunned us. Nice in cap here on the Demon Hunter. Do we have leg sweep? Oh, we do. Go for a double leg sweep. Here. Beautiful, beautiful leg sweep here. Yeah. Perfect. Do damage. Boom. Give me a Todd. Come on, baby. Oh, I can't wait until we have a kick. I can't wait until we have a kick. Nice drop. I like it. Demon Hunter's going back to your Warlock, though. So, now we have to keep him alive. I didn't resolve from your Warlock. Uh, Tyrant's back up really soon. Uh, I don't think this pally is much of anything. Try to keep Mystic Touch on everybody, too. Just because, again, your the pets do physical damage. All right. All right. All right. We got Tyrant out. Go for in-cap here. Beautiful. Great. Do we have sweep off? Rop anything? Nope. Okay. That's fine. Do damage. Yep. 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 Todd? See, that's... And that's what I'm taught. It's perfect. You see how when you use your CC on the healer during the burst cooldowns, you get a kill? It's... It's I'm, it's like mad. I'm telling you. It's crazy. You, as a misweaver, you don't dictate when your team does damage. Like, you don't dictate the ghosts. You just don't. What you do is you wait for your DPS to say, hey, I have damage. I'm at burst cooldowns. And then you're like, okay, cool. Let me go in cap, sweep the healer. And that's how it works. Unfortunately, you know, if you get CC, it's not like your team automatically does like more damage. But you see how in the end it worked out? Beautiful job. Great game. Trying to find different matchups for you. All right, we got Holy Paladin Marks Hunter. So this is probably a little bit easier than the rest of your version. But same rules apply. Use your disarm on True Shot or with the Hunter. They can't do damage and they can't kick you. Save your port for when you get stunned so they can't trap you. And then the third one, you could play Chrysalis. You can really play whatever you want. Uh, but yeah, I would port here. Okay, we, we get trapped. That's our ending resolve. Oh, wait, ending resolve is down? What are we, what are we fat finger it? Let me see. All right, we're ending resolve. Okay. I think we canceled it. Okay. Oh, no, no, it's still up. Okay, we, it's still up. Uh, this is true shot though, so we're looking for a disarm instantly on this. At silence, might want to might want to dispel the silence too. Nice stun here, really really good stun. Follow that up with the disarm, like you know, ma make him make his life really difficult to get any damage out. All right, true shot or is down. Wait, what was? Is this a prot? No, it's only okay. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, we used our cooldowns, but all right, here's Yulon, good. Uh, trap is coming in hot. Maybe we want taunt a pet or yeah, cut away is fine. Really make him work for it. Like don't make it. Maybe eventually he gets the trap, but make him use his mobility. Uh, there's refreshing or uh, enveloping breath with Yulon. So we're doing a lot of healing right now, which is perfect. We get trapped full on it, but Yulon, <clears throat> she should be enough. You may get Hodge off this though. Uh, nope. Okay. No, looking good right now. Yeah, a lot of healing. Uh, Man is going down. What? How do we get stuck there? It's so weird. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, no, we're overall doing good. Um, coil on the pally there. You get hodged. He doesn't have trap. Do we trinket there? All right, we trinketed that, which um, <clears throat> might not be ideal, mostly because he has trap and because you're not you're now your trinket doesn't line up with his biggest cooldown true shot aura. So just keep that in mind. You want to you want your trinket to at least line up with something like versus rogues you trinket blind, so it lines up with blind. Uh, versus hunters, you know, marks hunters, you want to trinket for uh, true shot aura just because it lines up with their major cooldown. So uh, we should have ending ending resolve. That's a wall. F Our wall is down now. Uh, life cocoon on us. Probably could just pour it, but I I get it. It is a little scary. Nice in cap here on the hunter. Yeah, roll away. Good. No, I would, I would I would roll to this pillar right over here. Just get to a pillar. Because the thing about hunters, it's the same thing about Mistweaver. They need to have they need to hit you in like a straight line. If you keep lining around the pillar, they're just not gonna be able to do damage. See? Like, just keep doing damage. Yeah. Just just keep lining around the pillar, renewing mist yourself, and you should be fine. This is true shot though. Yeah, no trinket. Nice port, beautiful. 
Uh, <laughs> a Warlock walled there. I don't think he needed to wall, but okay. Uh, if we have sweep, he'd be so good. Oh. <sighs> Please don't die. No. No. All right, who wins the 1v1? So, right, let me see. Really, really good job, by the way. This was a really good game. Just try to utilize the pillar more. Great ports as well. Uh, but again, Mark's Hunters, they have to be in a straight line to do damage. So just line up, just line. Um, Warlock just used wall, though. All right, let's see. Do we have any cooldowns at the end? We actually had... And then also make sure that you use your disarm, you know, for major cooldowns versus Hunters, Warriors, and stuff like that. All right, let's see what we got. All right. Let's turtle from the hunter. We'll critique the warlock now. I don't really play demo. I've played a little bit, but well, you know, we get rooted. It looks like we're trying to do damage to pet. This is a marks hunter though, so it's not gonna do too much. We should definitely want our fell guard just on. Yeah, we want the fell guard on the hunter. But now he gets a re stealth. Okay. Going for eyes. He's really okay. Wait, wait. He comes out. Wait. Did I miss something? I missed something. All right. Let's see what we got. Going for eyes. Hunter's gonna come out. We see the hunter. Stun on the hunter. Looking for a fear off that. I would have went for a fear off that. Silenced. There's a coil. We there's soul rot. Okay. Big damage. Good fears coming out. Yeah, I would just fear spam if I was him. Oh, I think we're dead. Oof. Okay, nice. Alright, there, there all right. Alright. Soul shaping out. We we, we gotta get to our gate though. Oh, that's our route we're dead. Yeah, that's unfortunate. That's super unfortunate. You did a really good job of staying alive, though. And uh, the biggest thing just comes down to trading your cooldowns and, uh, yeah, trading Trinket for True Shot Aura. You know, disarming quickly so either he trinkets into a leg sweep or he just does new damage. So keep that in mind. That's pretty much all Arena is. All right, and finally, we got some Resto Druid Demon Hunter. Let me tell you something. Do not be disheartened with this Q session with Miss Weaver Demo because this is every single matchup that I've reviewed for you has been a hard counter. Okay. Demon hunters, hunters, warriors. This is why Miss Weaver Demo isn't the greatest. You know, I wouldn't recommend it. Harambe and I just make it work, but uh, yeah, I wouldn't recommend it. So we got some demon hunter, demon hunter. There's the cyclone definitely could have like turned around and incapped it, but that's okay. We go for an unending resolve. Um, we do have tyrant out. Good job lining that cyclone. And I would go for an incap. This is, this is where you go for an incap on the Druid. Maybe off that coil. Nice fear from your Warlock. Really, really good. Go for an incap off that. And try to rop so he can't line. Go for a double leg sweep. All right. Maybe the blur. Dodge that. All right. Great work here. Great work. We're doing we're doing really good job here. That's big uh big meta, though, from the Demon Hunter. And that's a DR fear, which is good. Maybe fear's on the Demon Hunter now. That's a stun, which is good, too. Uh, put Renewing Mist on the Warlock. Definitely want to put Renewing Mist. Also, utilize Bone Dust Brew. You know, if you start to struggle a little bit. Um, it's really good instant healing. Gating away from the Druid is perfect. Great, great, great um, gate on the uh, in-cap war. No, we're doing a really good job here. All right. Just got to live. This is big meta. Down in four seconds. We just need to live. Uh, Cyclone on you. Nice fleshcraft on it, man. We're, you know, you kind of working these teams a little bit. I'm not going to lie. Uh, that's a reverse magic from the Demon Hunter on the Soul Rot. I don't think we're mad about that. Uh, and in this in this matchup, by the way, just knowing your work condition is also really important. Your work condition is mana. You see how the Druid's already at like, what, 80% mana and you're at 100? Uh, that's the win condition. That mana bar, this blue bar, this is how you win the game. So keep the Druid in combat as much as you can. Prevent the drinks from happening, and and you should be okay. Great fear on the demon hunter. Maybe you go for an, maybe fear on the druid. This is fine. This is tyrant. Yeah, nice. That's what I'm talking about. Nice rop. Beautiful. Give me a sweep off that. Oh man, cancel roll. In cap. Give me a leg sweep. Double leggy. Oh yeah, I love when they do it. I love when they do it. And then go for a spinning crane kick to put mystic touch on everybody, just because the tyrant does do quite a bit of damage. The imps do physical damage. So, yeah, if we can get a few on that Druid, it's actually so good. That That's really good. That's Blur from the Demon Hunter. <clears throat> Overall, this game so far, we're doing really, really well. So, I got I got no complaints. Um, our Renewing Mist is probably going to be falling. Nice, nice. Bonus brew, perfect. Good, good. We should be able to heal through this pretty easily. Uh, Positioning-wise, we are kind of struggling. I, I would say the biggest thing I would see for improvement is positioning, just because sometimes we roll into the middle of the map. We just stay there and ETC. So, 
Keep that in mind. Just stay on the pillar. Yeah, just stay on the pillar. If this guy wants to target you, let him because your warlock can then free cast. Um, you want to kite away from your kite away from your port, but towards your teammate so that your warlock can fear. Great job, beautiful. Bash on you is DR. That's really good for you. So overall, this game is going really, really well. I this is what we call the last ditch effort, and that's when they try to kill the Mistweaver when the team can't. You know, they, you know they they. <laughs> Uh, that's a cyclone. Okay, don't run too. Yeah, okay, we port. Um, are we playing Eminence? Uh, I think you swap bars, so I don't know. But we might be. So just keep that in mind. We're not going to port for a little bit now. He's going to be able to stun us. This is Demon Hunter Metaphorum. DR stun, probably not worth it on the Druid. Probably you're better off using it on the Demon Hunter for to peel for your Warlock. In cap there. Yeah, it's going to break. I think we're trying to kill the Demon Hunter. Cyclone on you. That's fine. Drew, uh, Demon Hunter has no trinket, no blur. So, I mean, you know, this is Tyrant. So, just crank damage right now. Use Rop if you still have it. If they try to go run a pillar and you should be fine. Uh, the more they run, the, you know, when they run, your cooldowns are coming off cooldown. So, it, let them run. Maybe go for a drink. So, this is really bad. The Druid's going for a drink right now. And she's probably going to get a full drink. Uh, which is really unfortunate. Because we're really, really ahead on mana. <clears throat> Yeah. Oh, he actually didn't get that much of a drink, which is a little bit of a shocker. Be careful. We're, we are at a range of port right now. All right, we're back in line. Good, good, good. <clears throat> and we port again. Before stun. And kept that heal? I think we kicked it. We're stun so now we don't have port for stuns. Uh, and that's Vortex. Vortex are so annoying. We have gate, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get to the gate. It would be perfect if you could. Boom. Perfect. Now you're out. He might chase, but your Warlock should be able to fear and uh, such. This is big meta. Nice stun. Go for a CC on the Druid. Per perfect. Maybe sweep off. Insane. All right. No, we're looking. This is good. This is good. Tyrant's coming back up. Hopefully, your Warlock can get a few Furies going. This matchup is relatively kind of boring, though. <coughs> They're just going to try to train, you know. It's like the Fury Warrior matchup. You know, there's really not much. Not much you can do. I would maybe nice Rob. You could use your in cap sweeps to peel for yourself though versus the Demon Hunter. Um, if you're having trouble staying alive. But I think right now we're doing a really good job of just like staying alive and not not using too many cooldowns when we have to. Looks like we're doing damage. Tyrant is on off cooldown. Yeah. No, no, no. You know what I would do? I want you to instead of going from this pillar to this pillar. I want you to go from this pillar to this third pillar, this bigger pillar, because then they have to cross the map to get to get like through your warlock to get to you, and then your warlock can actually do damage. Because right now the pillar is is kind of crushing your warlock. Um, like the demon hunter can just line by default just by chasing you, and now your your warlock is forced to go the druid uh, with this tyrant. So yeah, I would go yeah go to this pillar right here. That way he has you have the the warlock has the whole map. Let's get a can we get a kill here. No. Darkness? Runs out of darkness? Todd? Oh, give me a... T oh, man. Imagine if Todd worked. You know what I mean? Oh, oh, maybe there's a chance. A chance? Todd? Damn. All right. Yo, I don't mind it. The only thing on this map... Great job staying alive. Only thing on this map... When you're playing with a caster, it's really, like, frustrating for them. Because when your demon hunter is just chasing you around the pillar, there's, like nothing they can do you know they're out here and the demon hunter and you are back here so try to cross go from this to here because this this is enough time for your work to help you go from here to here just keep going back and forth to these that way your caster can actually do damage but overall i mean the, these games weren't bad uh honestly frag they they were not bad at all uh overall fury warriors are a tough matchup save your disarms for slaughterhouse stacks so that they drop um Trade your cooldowns when you need to. Trade your trinket when you see a major cooldown, like True Shot, Blind, um, anything like that. Just save it. Um, save your trinket for that. And uh, positioning is probably the biggest thing. Mistweaver, obviously, if you make a mistake on a Mistweaver, you're pretty much going to lose. Uh, that's just how it is. It, it's, it's just how it always been. It's how it probably always will be. So, you know, when you use trinket when because you're out of range of port, always make sure you're in range of port. Always make sure that you have, like, cooldowns or something to trade before CC or after. And you'll be fine. But overall, yeah, no, this, these were good games, man. Like, no no joke. Really, really solid games. Really solid gameplay. Great healing output. So, yeah, if you have any questions at all, please let them know. If you have any questions, you or anybody, hopefully this was helpful for somebody. But, yeah, that's going to be it for me. Hope everyone has a fantastic rest of your day. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you later.